Hi, my name is Susan Dynas. I'm an associate professor in microbiology in the Department of Microbiology, Immunology, and Pathology at Colorado State University, and I'm also the associate department head for undergraduate education. As is true with any BS degree in any discipline, it should help you prepare you to either go on to earn an advanced degree in the field or to enter into a career. And a BS degree in microbiology actually is good preparation for either. So for example, if you want to be a famous researcher and maybe discover the cure for AIDS or a vaccine for malaria, you'll need to go to graduate school and earn a degree, either your master's degree or more likely your PhD. And the BS degree in microbiology is excellent preparation for that. But maybe you want to go into infectious disease, for example. Maybe you want to be a physician or a veterinarian. Well, obviously, infectious disease is an important part of microbiology because microbes cause infectious disease. And so, again, it's excellent preparation for either of these professional medical programs. In addition, it's also good preparation for physician assistant programs, dentistry programs, pharmacy programs, nursing programs, and medical technology programs. But maybe you don't want to go to school anymore. You're finished. You'd like to go to work. Well, the good news is that a BS degree in microbiology allows you really good opportunities for good careers with simply your BS degree. Most of those uh, jobs right now are in the area, are in the private sector. Those, so for example, uh, jobs right now, um, you might want to work for a food and beverage company. company, for yogurt, people who make yogurt, people who make cheese, people who make beer. All of those industries employ, employ microbiologists. You might want to be employed in the biopharmaceutical industry. And these are companies that use microbes to make everything from vitamins to prescription drugs to vaccines. Again, they're going to be hiring microbiologists. Um, you might want to work for the government uh, in a public health agency. And so the public health labs, the Department of Agriculture, the Food and Drug Administration all hire microbiologists, as do the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, the National Institutes of Health, and even departments like the Department of Homeland Security with our increased concern about bioweapons, which of course are made using microbes. So the opportunity for employment is very good. These are all typically entry-level positions in um, the private sector. They typically are quality control positions. You don't want to have microbes growing in your medical device or in your vitamins, things that you don't want there. They're well paid, they have good benefits, and there's continued demand even in this time of recession. Right now where jobs are hard to come by, microbiologists are readily employable. Okay, I'll be honest and tell you that a BS degree in microbiology is a rigorous a curriculum. And because it's a rigorous program, it makes a major worth something at the end. In addition to the classes that you'll take for the university in the humanities, and composition, and social sciences, you'll take foundational courses in physics, math, usually algebra or calculus, and general biology and lots and lots and lots of chemistry. You'll take general chemistry, organic chemistry, and biochemistry. And then you'll move on to the courses that are actually related to microbiology directly. Microbiology is a really diverse discipline, and there are lots of different kinds of microbes, from fungi and protists to bacteria to acellular agents such as viruses and prions. And so it isn't a simple, just one class, you'll take classes probably, generally the core classes will include general microbiology, which is introduction to the discipline, immunology, which is the study of how the immune defense helps protect you against infectious disease, um, bacteriology, typically medical bacteriology, who are the nasty bacterial pathogens that cause disease, and medical virology is often offered 
and again that's going to be the viruses that cause disease. There are lots of other interesting aspects to microbiology that you may take courses in food microbiology and environmental microbiology, microbial ecology, epidemiology, in addition to the core classes. And if you're really lucky, you'll, you might actually get to do some research, some undergraduate research working in the laboratory. And this is a good experience because it helps you decide if in fact you are interested in going to graduate school, if you want to work in the laboratory, or not, possibly. And it gives you uh, good skill sets that you can use in employment if you want to go to work. It, good references to get into professional programs, into graduate school, and for employment as well. So you think you might want to get a degree in microbiology and you'd like to be prepared so that you can actually get into college and enter the program. My best advice is that in high school, you take lots of math and science classes, especially chemistry. Uh, this will be good preparation when you get to school because you'll be taking those classes here and then you'll have the background that you need to do well at the college level. Or you might even be able to take advanced placement courses, in which case you won't have to take them at the college level and you can substitute something that you think is more fun. Other than that, um, you want to pay attention to your grades. Obviously, you want to try to keep good grades, particularly in the sciences, so that you might qualify for scholarships and such. If you have the opportunity to participate in visit days, things like that, at the, with the high school and the university collaborate, and you can go and you know, get a little experience working in microbiology, that's also very good. It's helpful for you to get a feel for what the field actually entails so that you know that this is actually the degree that you want to pursue.